Hello, welcome to another episode of Kuma's Kitchen, and tonight I've made a uh, hearty beef stew with polenta. Now, it's uh, absolutely fantastic because you got all the meats and vegetables and everything in here, and then at the end, you thicken it up with polenta, like a heavy grind cornmeal, stone ground stuff. Really gives it some body, makes it absolutely delicious. Mm. Hot. <laughs> Hot burger. <laughs> mm. All right. Let's get in the kitchen. Mm. First, we're gonna cook the ingredients for the uh, the stew itself, and we'll uh, bring in the polenta topping ingredients after. So, for the stew, what we've got? Well, across the front here, I've got a quarter cup of flour. I've got one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, a quarter cup of olive oil, five cloves of garlic thinly sliced, one onion chopped. Now I know, an invisible onion. There will be an onion usually in this recipe, however, I forgot to buy an onion. That was the one thing I forgot to get and just don't have time, so imagine the onions going in there. It will be in the recipe. All right, so one onion chopped. Uh, over here, this is uh, three cups of uh, chicken stock or beef stock, whichever you've got on hand. Um, here I've got uh, about 12 to 14 uh, mushrooms and a th slice them thick, about a quarter inch or a bit more, like five, six millimeters thick. Then here I also got uh, about 12 to 14 uh, shishito peppers. And just cut them in half. If you've got longer ones, cut them into three. You want about that size. They add a lot of flavor. I've got here is two carrots, those are, you know, sizable, not the huge Japanese carrots, but pretty big carrots. Uh, two of those chopped up. Across here, I've got two red bell peppers chopped. And then here, the uh, main ingredient, which is one and a half pounds of, uh, or one and a half pounds or 680 grams of beef. And this is beautiful stuff. I got this from a local store here, um, it's over in Tenoji, called uh, Takefuku. It is a uh, one of the best meat stores around. Really good. I mean, look at that. Look at that stuff. Mm, that is just looking absolutely delicious. All right. So first thing I want to do is grab the uh, big bowl. Uh, throw the flour in here. Salt. The pepper. All right. Gonna mix that around a little bit. Then I'm going to toss the meat in there. I want to dredge the meat. So basically, mix it around with the flour and salt. And actually, while, that's, while I'm doing that, the oil could be heating up. So let's get the oil into the pan here, or pot. I've got the big cast iron pot because this is going to go in the oven afterwards. All right, there we go. So I'll bring that up, medium heat. All right, that can start heating up. And I'm just gonna flip this meat around in here to get the flour, salt, and pepper evenly distributed across it. Get it all coated. All right, that's looking pretty good. So. Uh, we toss the onions in there <laughs> and, and the meat. I'm going to cook that for about 8 to 10 minutes on medium. I, I want to get a little browning started. I'll see you back. 8 10 minutes. Can we stir that every once in a while? Don't let it just sit there. Give it a stir. See you here shortly. All right, that's been cooking away. You're gonna stir, scrape it up off the bottom once in a while because you're gonna get a little bit of you know, the flour sticking, so just give it a scrape. And look, we're getting uh, some, uh, some color in there, starting to cook nicely. What I wanna do now is I wanna take, not gonna pour all of this in there, I'm just gonna pour some in there and deglaze anything off the bottom. So, um, if got anything stuck, this is the time to just kinda go around, scrape it up a bit. That goodness is all gonna go into your stew. Mm mm mm. All right. Well, that looks like it. Force is cast iron pan is pretty good. It doesn't really stick much. Looking nice. 
So I have the rest in there. All right, now all the other ingredients are going in. So we've got the carrots in there. We've got the uh, red bell peppers. The shishito. I don't know about you, I just like saying shishito. <laughs> Sounds cool. <laughs> the mushrooms. And the garlic. Uh, it's looking like it's pretty full. That's going to cook down a bit. So we have enough room later on. Get our plant on top. Alright, so now I want to do just kind of stir that around. I want to get everything down inside there a bit. You know, distributed nicely. So you got, you just kind of pull up through there. You got the meat, you've got the vegetables, everything combined together. More like that. Oh, that's starting to look good. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get the lid on there and bring this to a simmer. I'm going to simmer that gently for 40 minutes. When I get everything nicely cooked, and then I'm going to come back here, do the play of the top, and see you then. All right, that's been cooking for about 40 minutes, simmering away here, bubbling. Get a stir every once in a while just to get really mix together. We got, oh, that's hot. <laughs> it's looking great. I've already had a piece of the meat just to test it. Really good. So that's all cooked and ready, but as you can see, because I covered it, really soupy. Aha, uh -huh. this is where the polenta comes in. So what I've got here is one cup of polenta. Well, it's coarse ground cornmeal. Now, if you get it from Bob's Red Mill, I have a bag around here somewhere. If you get it from Bob's Red Mill, it's called polenta. That's where I buy this. Beautiful stuff. So, mix that in there. Down into there. You've probably seen me do this before with uh, chili con carne too, right? Thicken up the chili. Well, we're doing exactly the same thing here. So I'm going to cover this, this time, cook this, uncovered this time, until that thickens up. So, ah, about eight, ten minutes, usually does the trick. What you're doing is you, you're cooking the, uh, the cornmeal, the polenta, and as you can see, it's already starting to thicken up just a little bit. That's going to thicken it up, make a fantastic stew. All right. Be back shortly when that is all ready to go. I really need a hot mitt, don't I? <laughs> Metal conducts. Kevin, mechanical engineer, you should know that. Yeah, I know. All right. All right. Hey, keep looking at it. Just mm, going to be simmering away there. All right. See you back here in about eight, ten minutes. There we go. We're eight minutes in, and look at that. It's gone from soup to stew and it's tasty with that polenta in there perfect heat off that's ready for dinner uh, hey, if you like this recipe we'll stick around and check out the rest of the channel a lot more original Kevin recipes here on Kuma's Kitchen be sure you uh, are subscribed you click that uh, notification bell um, you know you don't want to miss anything coming up next also, uh, if, you're, if you're really liking these recipes on here and uh, you want to see more or you want to see more behind what's behind these recipes too, like other videos, well, go and check out the Patreon. Uh, I've got links down below. I've got the Patreon um, account and um, in there, well, all of my Patreons are seeing a lot more videos. So, go check it out. Now, go and make this and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.